Hello again, and thank you for tuning in. Today we got, as usual, I'm the first one to do the review. I don't know if it's because people just love my reviews and are scared to watch and make their own, or if the, I'm the only guy who's got enough energy to go out and make them anymore. I don't know. But in any case, this is it, man. This is the Clarion. This is the FX503. This is basically very similar to the NX604 Smart Access GPS DVD receiver, which I reviewed several months ago. I'm guessing approximately five, six months ago, something or something like that. This unit here is basically, in my opinion, like a Pioneer app radio made by Clarion because so much of the stuff these days is all going towards the cloud, app-based type of um, stuff, and it makes sense because, you know, if you have a Samsung TV, you're going to have a proprietary QWERTY keyboard to work with that one, and Pioneer's got their own little apps going on. Clarion in my opinion, was one of the first ones to hit the market with all the apps. They are the ones that started with the little single DIN radios, if you remember, who went totally app crazy. And since then, they've been constantly reviewing, updating, and adding new apps. It's insane. Um, and they're a lot cheaper. To show you proof of that, watch this. This here is my phone. I did not feel like going crazy and installing all these apps. Um, however, you can see this one here is called GPS Drive Motion X. Um, and you can see all the host of features that this does. Basically what this is, is kind of like the iGo Primo that you would expect to find on the NX604 with the much higher price tag, $300 plus or more for the unit that adds the DVD and the GPS built into the hard drive. This one for here, 99 cents folks, 99 cents will buy you the same app. It'll give you Twitter, LinkedIn, um, Facebook apps, it'll find you parking, airplane, foods, gas, hotels, coffee spots, you know, point of interest, man, you name it. One buck, you own it. Also, uh, Waze, which is kind of like, um, sort of like Motion X, but it's more of kind of geared up, kind of like how YouTube is. It's kind of like how people will, you know, comment and, you know, people will have debates, you know, in the comment sections or they'll ask me questions. And it's kind of like an interactive -y kind of a thing where, Supposedly, you get on there, and while you're driving, you can communicate with other drivers that are on similar routes and tell you, oh, some idiot's, you know, rubbernecking, and it's, everybody's looking because some lady is on the side of the car, you know, beating up her husband, you know, by the trunk. And that app is useful, apparently, very much so because there's 30 million users out there. But that works with the Clarion. While I'm talking apps, I might as well just keep going on with it. Um, iHeartRadio, which is nothing new. Um, obviously a very popular, I've used it myself, I think it's great. The Waze, which I just told you about. The Motion X, which is the one I just showed you about. Uh, Real-time real -time traffic information, which is the Enrix Traffic, which is another cheap and expensive app. Um, also Dash Command, which tells you the speed, the RPM, your gas mileage, all that kind of crazy stuff. Um, traffic forecasting information about auto accidents, police, etc., all kinds of crazy stuff. There's stuff for radar traps, I mean, you name it. I mean, it's just getting like mind-blowingly intense with all these apps. So if you are the kind of person that uses a smartphone, whether it be Android, iPhone, I'm sure that's probably you because those are pretty much everybody who watches my reviews um, owns that. This system is geared up for you. This is a total 100% mechanicless unit. What that means in English is that you will notice that there's no bells and whistles, there's no motorized faces, there's no gears, there's no detachable face, there's no slot for a DVD, there's nothing behind here. What you see is what you get with the exception of two things. On the bottom left here, there is a micro SD slot right here. You have a 3.5 millimeter analog audio input right here. You have two buttons here for up and down. There's one, there's two. Your microphone, which is built into the top left, and there's also an extra plug in the rear should you want to externally mount an optional microphone for this unit. But the one that works, that comes with it, in my opinion, works fantastic unless you have like a huge, you know, monster truck like one of these new Escalades or an Expedition or some crazy thing like that. Over here, you have another one on top for your smart access, and you have a power on and off button which is unique because in so many of these in-dash units, I actually get comments almost on a daily from people trying to figure out how the heck they even turn the screen or make it mute at nighttime or shut off entirely. Good, good idea. Clarion actually did a pretty good job. Even it's, it's such a simple, stupid thing, but you know what? People like that and people will buy for that kind of reason. Smart access link right here. Settings, all your main home screens, AM, FM radio. Non HD radio, just like the NX604 has HD radio, this one in all fairness, but again for the price, doesn't have it. But however, this one has internet radio, that one doesn't. Sirius XM, which I'm going to show you how the plug is proprietary. I don't know why I can't say proprietary. 
I'm going to show you that on the rear. Bluetooth for your phone use, audio streaming, SD, which I showed you on the bottom left, and your USB iPod. This unit comes with an, a USB cable, which is enough to run into your glove box, your center console. I connected it with my uh, lightning adapter, my phone, plug it in, nothing else needed. Sync cable, you're straight. So let me show you what's going on in the back of this unit now. Okay, so what are we looking at is the rear of this unit right now. So what we got here is this plug right here, which is proprietary for the SXV200, which is for the Sirius XM adapter. Down here, it's kind of impossible to see because it's so dark. Well, maybe not. There you go. The, the one on the left, that's your HDMI cable, so that way you can mirror link your phone, smartphone, to this unit. On the right is a USB plug. At the bottom right, right, all the way in the far right corner there is the optional microphone. So if you wanted to have a more substantial microphone and have it closer to your mouth, that's what you would use it for. This here is the included USB extension, which I applaud Clarion because they're not like so many of the manufacturers that just nickel and dime you and hit you for everything. This one, right out of the box, you got it. Analog antenna input right here. And for your RCAs, they give you these jacks so you can simply leave them in or omit them if you do or do not need them. The one to the left side, we have stereo audio input, video slave output, video input. Your harness, same as Clarion has been using forever. They still have, are making good heavy duty wires, which is great to see because so many of these other manufacturers are going the complete opposite direction. I love it. So same cable. If you're upgrading from a, a, a prior model Clarion, just unplug it, plug it right in because they're all going to fit. And I just, I love that. So it's almost like Clarion listens to me. Over here, you only got one yellow, which is great. Black, so you power your ground. You got your eight speaker leads. Over here, you have a blue wire for your telephone. I'm sorry, not for your telephone, for your power antenna, should you actually have one of those, which I doubt. And your power antenna leads, so that's good that they have that and they have that. And that's pretty much all you need. This one here is also a very cool feature, which believe it or not, some manufacturers still aren't using, which is the orange-white, which is the illumination wire. So that way when you put your parking lights on, the display dims. Not a lot to ask for, but here we are talking about it. Now, moving along, I've already told you about the home screen, what, what you expect to see. Of course, you can you know do some other stuff, add and move around some of these features. Now, a lot of things on this radio, they've actually set where you can use your phone and mirror how your phone operates with your fingers so that way you can take this and you can you know drag swipe enlarge close do all kind of stuff that you would expect like pinching on a smartphone they've tried to replicate a lot of those functionalities on this unit and i think they've done a pretty well good job about, about doing that exact thing so that's pretty cool so your main setting screens i'm not going to drag this whole thing out because i've already done this in depth and then some on the nx604 so i'm going to put up a link so if you want to see how crazy crazy can be I'll show you everything there is to see on the NX604 because it's essentially the same kind of a deal but here we go balance fader nothing exciting there but I'll show you you got your loudness feature which basically just accentuates the lower bass frequencies at lower volume levels you should have that off if you're listening to it at a higher level of course your graphic EQ which is super important now here you'll notice that you have all the preset junk which nobody ever uses and you have the six band EQ. Now this one here is pretty good, and I'll tell you why it's pretty good, because Clarion has not been using this for the longest time, and I've been belly aching almost forever about it, because this is something that everybody should have. Every manufacturer, in my opinion, should have a graphic equalizer, whether it be digital or DSP. It should be laid out in bars in some type of a method where people can actually understand it, because a lot of people think that they understand how to, how to control an audio system, but really have absolutely no clue to it. So this one, in my opinion, helps, and it'll actually help the customer as an end result to obtain a good sound because actually they might have a, a better clue of actually how to use it and control it. So again, this unit does not come with a book, and I can understand why, because who reads them? They come with a disc, just pop it into your computer, and educate yourself on it, and I definitely recommend that to anybody. So the EQ is there, hooray for that. And another thing that this unit has that no, no standard radio has, when you're using your phone, you can actually set your EQ in your own phone when you have it connected to this unit and paired. So you can actually overlay that EQ on top of this one because it does matter. When you're connecting, especially through v, via hardwire, I'm not sure how, how much of a big dramatic difference it makes when you're doing it via Bluetooth. And I don't have any way to really know without with being definitively accurate and true about it because I just don't know. And I don't even know if the information is actually even out there. Um, but that's another thing you might want to consider. So if you're an audio nut, that's a good feature. Sound restorer, 
volume smoother, virtual bass, vocal image control, subwoofer control, laid out right there, not too bad. So you don't have to actually open up another screen and get into a sub screen to adjust it. Moving along, you got your high pass filter. You can adjust and block out 120, 80, or 50 hertz, so just have it through and just use an external amplifier as your uh, crossover, whatever, or just not using it, or just use the one that's built into the unit itself. Low pass filter, that's for your sub, of course, and you got 120, 80, and 50 hertz, or you can let it run truly through as a bypass. Bluetooth settings, very simple to use. Clarion gives you more choices. You can pair more devices to Clarion than I've seen on anything else in the market, if that matters to you. So take that for what it's worth. Now your system languages. You got English, French, and Espanol. Pretty much the bare minimum. Oh, You got your time. Button beeps. So when you hit it, it goes beep, beep, beep. But you can turn it off and hear no beeps. Icon short, shortcut menu. Now this here, you could take whatever you want of these choosings and move them over to your main home screen or omit them and move them back into this list as well. So that's another good feature and that's that's a big seller for a lot of a lot of reasons, believe me. Because a lot of the stuff you use and a lot of stuff you wish you could use a lot better. So this one here is a cool feature. Plus the graphics on Clarion are almost second to none. Your time. Anti-theft indicator, which is just an LED activation so that way if this thing gets stolen you can enter a code good luck ever trying to get it recovered without it because it's it's almost impossible software version for updating which everything these days has to have that functionality check your con connectivity feature which i have nothing going on but if you did it would tell you you know ground or voltage parking brake for you know dvd in motion also if you're looking for a deal on an e-brake bypass hit my saw we have them they're like 15 16 bucks they're so cheap uh, reverse gear selector input, rear dedicated camera input, your restore mode, audio we've already gone through, day night mode, so that's set to auto, so once the illumination uh, gets turned on and sees 12 volts, this will dim just like it should, so that's the selection I would choose and recommend anybody who owns one of these uses. There's your setting for your device, you have iPhone or Android. This thing will not be picky if you have you know an iOS 6 7 8 well actually on an iPhone I have to say if you've synced your your phone recently they almost force you and put it like ram it down your throat that you must do the update um, to an extent where actually it'll take data off your phone just so that way it has enough to put the operating system on there and Android is becoming just as bad so no need to even go there so aside from that I want to wrap this, this this up real quick by saying some other small features 50 by 4 Preamp outputs, I'm sorry, uh, high power speaker level outputs rated at 16 watts RMS. You have six channel, four volt preamp outputs on the front, rear, and subwoofer preamp outputs. Um, OEM steering wheel ready. Um, you have the rear USB with the extension cable. If you need to get an iPod uh, adapter or anything else like that, my opinion, just use the, the, the stuff that came with your phone. It works wonderfully well. And that's really it. I mean, it's great. They did a wonderful job. I think this unit is great. It looks amazing. It's, I don't know if it comes out as well um, in this video screen as it does when you're actually touching it and using it, but it's beautiful. It's gloss black. It's really pretty. Um, it does come with a, tr a trim ring, so that way, should you need to fill up any little gaps, you know, to make it absolutely perfect in your dash, it comes with that. So I think that this thing is great. If you're looking for more information just about the Smart Access stuff, hit Clarion site. They're slow to come out, but I'm sure it'll be popping up very soon. Um, all the stuff on the apps is everywhere. Um, and also check out my review on the NX604. So that's it. I'll see you next time.